Beneath the shimmering surface of the world's oceans lies a realm that has captivated human curiosity for centuries. A place where light fades into darkness, pressure mounts with every meter descended, and the laws of buoyancy become the very foundation of movement. This is the domain of the submarine, an engineering marvel that defies nature's insistence that air-breathing creatures belong above the waves. Have you ever wondered how a submarine transitions from floating serenely on the surface to plunging into the abyss? The answer lies in a precise balance of physics, mechanics, and human ingenuity, right here on History of Simple Things. To understand the art of submarine diving, we must first explore the principle of buoyancy. At its core, a submarine is governed by Archimedes' principle, which states that an object submerged in a fluid is buoyed up by a force equal to the weight of the displaced fluid. When at the surface, the submarine is positively buoyant, meaning it displaces more water than it weighs. This keeps it afloat. But to dive, the submarine must achieve neutral or negative buoyancy. To do this, it relies on specialized compartments known as ballast tanks, hollow chambers that can be flooded with seawater or emptied using high-pressure air. These tanks serve as the gateway between the surface world and the depths below. The process of diving begins with the controlled flooding of these ballast tanks. As seawater rushes in, the submarine's overall weight increases, counteracting the buoyant force that once kept it afloat. The transition is a delicate one, requiring precise calculations to ensure stability. Too much water, and the submarine may sink too rapidly, too little, and it may struggle to submerge. To maintain equilibrium, the crew carefully monitors depth gauges and tank levels, ensuring a smooth descent. Unlike a free-falling object, a submarine doesn't simply drop into the ocean. It angles downward using its hydroplanes, movable fins located on the bow and stern that function like the wings of an airplane, directing the vessel deeper or shallower as needed. But controlling descent is only part of the equation. Once submerged, a submarine must maintain its depth without constantly ascending or sinking. This is where the concept of neutral buoyancy comes into play. By carefully adjusting the amount of water in its trim tanks, smaller ballast tanks used for fine-tuned control, the submarine can achieve a state where its weight precisely matches the weight of the displaced water. In this state, it neither rises nor falls, but hovers effortlessly within the ocean's embrace. The ability to control buoyancy with such precision allows submarines to operate stealthily, gliding through the depths with minimal energy expenditure. Pressure, however, is an ever-present force in the underwater world. With every meter of descent, the surrounding water exerts more force on the hull. At just 10 meters below the surface, a submarine already faces an additional atmosphere of pressure. By the time it reaches operational depths, this pressure can be measured in hundreds of tons per square meter. To withstand such crushing forces, modern submarines are constructed from high-strength materials like high 100 steel or titanium alloys, designed to resist deformation even at extreme depths. Inside, the hull is kept at normal atmospheric pressure, ensuring that the crew can operate comfortably regardless of how deep they venture. Diving is only half the journey. A submarine must also be able to return to the surface with precision. To ascend, the process is reversed. Compressed air is forced into the ballast tanks, expelling the seawater and restoring positive buoyancy. As the submarine becomes lighter than the surrounding water, it begins to rise. Once again, Hydroplanes play a crucial role, helping to control the angle of ascent and ensuring a smooth return to the surface. In emergencies, submarines have rapid surfacing procedures where ballast tanks are completely blown out in seconds, propelling the vessel upward at high speed. This maneuver, while rarely used outside of drills, is a last resort in the event of critical system failures. Beyond these fundamental mechanics, Modern submarines incorporate advanced technologies to enhance their diving capabilities. Some feature variable ballast systems, 
allowing for ultra-precise control of depth. Others use pump jets and thrusters for maneuvering in tight spaces. Nuclear-powered submarines, unlike their diesel-electric counterparts, can remain submerged for months at a time, relying on sophisticated life support systems to recycle air and generate fresh water. These technological advancements have transformed submarines from simple submersibles into formidable underwater fortresses capable of operating undetected in the vastness of the ocean. But diving is more than just a mechanical process. It is a calculated strategy. In military operations, submarines utilize diving techniques to evade detection, slipping beneath the waves to disappear from radar and sonar. In scientific research, deep diving submersibles explore the uncharted depths, revealing alien landscapes and uncovering life forms never seen before. Even in commercial industries, submarines play a crucial role in underwater infrastructure, assisting in deep sea oil drilling and cable laying operations. The ability to dive and resurface at will is what makes these vessels indispensable in fields ranging from defense to discovery. While today's submarines operate with cutting-edge precision, their evolution has been a testament to human persistence. Early submersibles, such as David Bushnell's Turtle from the American Revolution, struggled with basic depth control. By the 20th century, diesel-powered U-boats and nuclear submarines revolutionized underwater travel, allowing for longer and deeper dives. Now, autonomous and remotely operated vehicles are pushing the limits further venturing into Hadal depths, beyond where any human has traveled before. The future may bring even more advanced materials, artificial intelligence-driven control systems, and perhaps one day, civilian submarines capable of taking passengers to the deepest trenches on Earth. In the grand scheme of human innovation, the ability to navigate the ocean's depths stands as one of our greatest achievements. The simple act of diving, a process dictated by physics yet mastered by engineering, has allowed submarines to chart a world otherwise beyond our reach. From the earliest submersibles to the cutting-edge vessels of today, each dive is a testament to our relentless pursuit of exploration and understanding. And as technology advances, who knows how much deeper we will go? The ocean's secrets are vast, but with each controlled descent, we bring its mysteries a little closer to the surface. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.